It's Chase Bernath for Sound Guys here at NAMM 2024, and I just had the opportunity to check out the new Universal Fit in ear monitors from Ultimate Ears. Now, Ultimate Ears has a very long history making custom in ear monitors for performers and artists, but most of these in ear monitors are outside the price range of the average performer, artist, consumer, anyone interested in using in ear monitors. This new lineup from Ultimate Ears makes their in ear technology more affordable for up and coming musicians. The new Universal line from UE includes the UE150, the UE250, and the UE350, each at a different price and targeting a slightly different niche. The cheapest option is the UE150, which comes in at $199. This is the starter entry-level model for up-and-coming artists and musicians. It only has one single driver in it, but UE states that it does have a neutral frequency response. You can identify the 150 by its plain black exterior. The 250 is the mid-tier model falling in at $299, but it does target a very specific niche. So the 250 amplifies low-end frequencies more and therefore is helpful when you need to hear the kick drum. Uh, this is really helpful for drummers, bass players, or any musicians that need to hear the low-end beat in their music. The 250 also has two drivers inside that use Knoll's balanced armature. The 250 can be easily identified by its sparkly exterior design, kind of looks like a space pattern. The top of the line model is the UE350, which brings three drivers inside of it, also using Knoll's balanced armature. The 350 promises the most neutral frequency response. The 350 falls in at the most expensive price point of $399. The 350 can easily be identified by its carbon fiber looking exterior design, which is made from a vinyl material. I had a very brief opportunity to listen to all three models here at NAMM, and in my experience, from my brief listening of a couple of songs, I found the UE350 to significantly outperform the 150 and the 250. It sounded as though it had the most neutral frequency response, and it was the most pleasing to my ears, but we'll need to bring them in for further testing in our full review to come. That said, I can still see a very clear market for both the 150 and the 250. The 150 coming in at such a cheap price point is a great entry into the in ear market for up and coming artists and performers. And the 250 is a great option for drummers or artists who really want to focus in on the kick drum while they're performing live since it does amplify those low end frequencies more. The UE 150, 250 and 350 are all available to pre-order starting now and they will ship towards the end of February. I'm Chase Bernath for Sound Guys here at NAMM 2024 and until next time, happy listening.